God is not fair. I know that's a hard, hard thing to hear. And I don't mean to start this devotional to discourage you, but God is not fair. It is His kingdom. It is His people. And He decides to do whatever He wants to do with it. And the Bible tells us in Matthew chapter 20 that the kingdom of God is like unto a man that owns a vineyard. And he goes out into the town and he hires people at the fairest hour of the day. And he makes a deal with them that he's going to pay them one penny for a day's work. And they shook hands, they agreed to it, and they go and they worked in the field. But then he goes out in the third hour and he hires people, but he doesn't have a term. He tells them, I'm going to pay to you whatever it's fair for your work. And he goes back into the sixth hour and the ninth hour and he hires people and he tells them the exact same thing. I'm going to pay you whatever is fair for your day's work. But then there's a lot of work to be done in the vineyard and he goes out in the 11th hour and he hires people for just one hour of work. And he tells them, I'm going to pay you what it's fair for your day's work. What an imagery for what we're living in the kingdom today. Some people have been in the church for years. They have kept themselves holy, given in every aspect of their life. They've been faithful to Jesus Christ and the call that he's given them. But there's so much work to be done that Jesus Christ is looking for third hour workers, six hour workers, ninth hour workers. But it is not secret to anybody that Jesus Christ is going to return soon for his church. And there are so many people that need to hear this gospel that he's going out and he's hiring 11 hour workers, people that have not been trained to be Pentecostal or look Pentecostal, but they are being trained quickly fast to work in the kingdom of God. People that perhaps don't have the legacy or the history like maybe you and I have, but people that are willing to leave everything behind and pursue Jesus Christ with everything that they have. Those people are out in the field. Those people are out in the market. No one has hired them. People overlook them. People ostracize them. People look down on them. Perhaps because of their socioeconomic status or their color of their skin or whatever thing that was going on in their life. But Jesus is looking for 11 hour workers, people that are willing to give up everything to follow the kingdom of God. And it is our duty to realize that those 11 hour workers are out there. But I want to emphasize in this, in Matthew chapter 20, verse 13, after the, the men of the vineyard pays the 11th hour workers one penny, the ninth hour, the sixth hour, the third hour, and the first hour workers, and they all get paid one penny. The first hour worker says, but he answered one unto them and said, friend, sorry, it's, it's the verse 10. But when it came, first came, they supposed that they will should receive more, and they likewise received every man a penny. And when they had received it, they murmured against the good men of the house, saying, this last have work but one hour, and that has made them equal, equal unto us, which have borne the burden and the heat of the day. But he answered one of them and said, Friend, I do thee no wrong. Didn't you agree to work for one penny? Take that that is yours and go thy way, and I will give unto this last even as unto thee. I have made them equal unto you. Perhaps you have the legacy. Perhaps you've been in this sixth generation Pentecostal, fifth generation Pentecostal. Perhaps you have everything. And I'm not minimizing that. Great that you have that. Great that I've had this Pentecostal legacy and I've done so many things that perhaps these 11 workers have not done. But God is calling people and making them ready, preparing them, equipping them in a quick time, fast. And you and I better be ready because this revival is bigger than you and I. What God's doing in Extraordinary Church in Mississauga in the greater Toronto area does not have my name. 
it has the name of Jesus all over it. This is bigger than you and I, and Jesus Christ is about to sweep this region through with a revival like it's never been before. So let's ready, let's get our hands dirty, let's work in the vineyard, and let's be prepared to have people that come in the 11th hour, and we're going to be equal working for the kingdom of God. I love you. I'm behind you. If you're a first hour worker or 11 hour worker, we're in this together. We're in the same journey and we're going to do exploits for the kingdom of God. In Jesus name, I believe that and I declare that for your life, for my life and for extraordinary church. Let's do extraordinary things for his glory and his name.